Hi kids! I hope you're all doing really well and that you're happy and healthy. I miss you all so much. Um, I decided to record some videos so that we can explore together and look at some things in the garden today. What we can find, maybe some insects, some bugs, maybe even a lizzie. Um, let's see what we can find. Follow me. This is Sir Humphrey. He is a hippopotamus that we got for my dad for his birthday. And um, just a beautiful, just a beautiful lawn ornament that we've got for him. But in real life, this would be very dangerous because hippos are incredibly fast and they're very territorial. So what territorial means is they've got their area where they stay and they don't like it if other strange creatures come into their area. So they, they can be quite aggressive, um, but they're very beautiful to watch from a safe distance. Oh, if you can look over here, here are some beautiful bugs. Here's a little fatty. And here we've got a nice fat worm. That is the larva of a beetle that destroys our grass. We don't like them very much, but they also need a place to live. But these ones turn into black beetles and then they eat up our grass. And he'll dig back under into the ground because in this lava state and they we call it larva but it's their baby form after they come out of an egg they look like this in their lava state they like to be underground or hidden under a rock like where we found this fellow they um do have little mouths that they can bite with if you look over there so just be careful and remember, we don't just touch anything in the garden. Let's put this rock back. Nice and gentle. So that we don't hurt him. Let's see what's over here. Oh, there are lots of these grey insects. I'll tell you more about them now. Have a look there. We call this one the pill bug. It's family of the wood lice and they roll into little balls to defend themselves. And they like to crawl around under places. They also really like wood and carpet. They like to hide under those things. There's lots of them here. Let's put that back nicely so they're nice and safe. And let's see what else there is. I'm sure there's plenty of them here. Oh wow, look over there. There's lots of them over there. And there's baby ones also. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Oh, there's so many. Let's see what's under here. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> Be careful you don't hurt yourselves, kids. Well, there's a new one. <laughs> oh, there are so many ants also. Look at all the ants. Ew. So many ants. Ants are remarkable little creatures and they work together in their colonies and they can carry 10 to 50 times their own body weight 
and they all work together so nicely. Oh, look over there. Oh, quickly, he bites. So that is a baby centipede. They deliver a very nasty bite. That's why I'm not using my hand. They, um, they have a very painful bite. They aren't usually venomous, but you do get different species. And some of them do have a bit of a venom that'll give you a headache. But isn't that a beauty? Still a baby, they get a lot bigger. A lot, lot bigger. Let's let him go back under a leaf. That's where he likes to be. He will happily stay. Oh, he's very quick. He's very quick. He's looking for somewhere to hide because they don't like being out in the sunlight. And there he climbs into a little tunnel and he's happy to stay there for the rest of the day. Over here, we have a beautiful little slug. They're very slimy. And they also like to hide under things. So let's put his brick nicely, not to squish him. There we go. Back over him there. Now he's happy. Let's see what else we can find. Ooh, yay! So kids, we like these. Who knows what these are? What is this, Alex? Earthworm. It's an earthworm. Look at him wiggle and dance. Dance, dance, dance. Let's put him back there. He likes his little home. And they love cleaning our garden for us. Yes, they clean our garden. And you can see when they move around, they dig little tunnels. And that means they're aerating, let's put them back. They are aerating our soil so that our grass roots can dig and breathe so that our grass grows nicely. Oh, there's some more earthworms, look at them. Yay. There's plenty, plenty of them hiding under here think they are tired after all this rain having to dig so many holes nothing there see what amazing things you can find if you just lift up a few stones oh more earthworms oh here's a nice earthworm going through his holes there you see him moving there he goes through his hole come come dig dig he's digging nicely over there and then over here we've got another white fat larva worm oh he wants to bite me see how he wants to bite me now they can also bite anything that has a mouth can bite you can also bite but it doesn't mean you will Let's see this fellow. Oh, there he bit the twig rather than my finger. He's not happy with us playing with him now. But let's just put him back under his rock, safely in his hole. There we go. Nice and gentle. We don't want to hurt or kill any of them, hey? <laughs> Ooh, lots of creepy crawlies. Let's 
see what's over here. Another creepy crawly. And here, the earthwormy. There Yay. he goes back into his hole. Gone. What's there? Another Nothing. earthworm. Another earthworm. There's lots of earthworms here, which is good. If you've got earthworms, it means your garden is healthy. Let's look over here. I got him. Come, let me show you. Look over here. Say hi, Lizzie. Hi. Hi. Oh, isn't he a cutie? So this is a common house gecko. And uh, it's still a baby. Remember, anything that has a mouth can bite. Can you bite? Yeah. You can bite. It doesn't mean you will. But anything that has a mouth can bite. So be very careful. Don't just touch anything. Um, but this guy is very cute. They like to eat things like mosquitoes and flies. So they're very good to have in the house. Um, they'll eat up a lot of your mosquitoes, all the mozzies that like to bite us in the summer. They'll eat them up. So Lizzie wants to go back home now. So I'm going to take him back into the beautiful green garden and go release him back where I found him. Going to be very gentle with him, don't want to hurt him. Go back, Lizzie. Go, Lizzie. And there he goes back to his little home. He's very happy where he is and see he can almost camouflage with a pot. If you looked quickly you wouldn't be able to see him easily. Bye Lizzie. So while I was helping my dad clean the garage which I hope all of you are doing helping your parents around the house but while I was busy helping my dad around the garage I found a centipede, remember we saw the centipede earlier, the red one that moves very fast and they deliver a nasty bite, so careful. I found one of those, just a bigger one, um, but he's already dead. I, I don't know what killed him, a car could have driven over him or something else could have bitten him. But there you can see nicely, he's got so many legs. And here at the back, his tail, he's got these long feelers here at the back. He can feel if anything's chasing him. And then here at the front, come a little bit closer. Here at the front, you can see there's his antenna. Oh, wait. There's his antenna. This long wiry thing, there's the other one on that side that's a bit broken. He uses those to feel around when he's moving and hunting. And then right here on the front middle of his face are his pincers. That's his mouth that he uses to chew and to break up other little insects that he's hunting and eating. And those things bite very sore. So be very careful when you see one because it's a really painful bite. But luckily this one is dead so I can hold him nicely and show you. He's still quite small. He's not the biggest one. They get to about, if you look at my fingers here, they get, let me just balance him there. They get about this big, some of them. Um, so the bigger they are, the bigger their mouths, and 
and they, they're quite a bit scary to look at um, luckily this one's dead this is still a juvenile that's what we call um, something that isn't fully grown like almost like a teenager is like a juvenile and that's what this one is nasty little things but just like all of God's little creatures on earth they all serve a purpose okay kids and then in the house you can also find some things if you don't have a garden you can also find things in and around your house and if you look over here I, d I vacuumed the carpets only last week and some of these insects came out to play so here's some more of those creepy crawlies Ooh, they're a little bit creepy um, but you can find things in the house that was all if you look over here, we've got a moth. Hey friend. Oh, there he flies. Look at his nice wings. And then over here is a beautiful wing. So yeah, I also found the wing of another moth. So moths don't live very long, their life cycles are short. What happens is a moth lays an egg um, on a leaf and then when the egg hatches a little it looks like a little worm we call it a larva or a caterpillar hatches from the egg and then they eat a lot during this stage the worms eat 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 all they can and when they're nice and fat and healthy they spin up a cocoon or a chrysalis and while they're inside the cocoon something happens to them they change it's called metamorphosis and they busy changing in there um, they turn into like a little goo like the slime you guys like to play with they turn into that and then the goo builds a beautiful moth or butterfly inside the cocoon and then after a couple of days they break out out of the cocoon and a beautiful moth or butterfly emerges and flies around and then it goes and finds another leaf to lay their eggs and the cycle carries on like that the eggs hatch again into the worms or the larva they go into the cocoon and out of the cocoon comes a moth or a butterfly isn't that amazing here's another moth like I said they don't live very long their life cycles are quite short but um, this one obviously went and found a beautiful leaf to lay his eggs on and oh look at those beautiful markings and he laid his eggs and his baby worms are probably or her baby worms are probably roaming around the leaves eating as much as they can so that they can also go into their cocoons and chrysalis beautiful and here is a live one. We call them a cream striped owl moth. You can see it looks like they, they've got owl eyes on their wings. So even though they don't live very long, remember I said they've got a life cycle and it carries on and on. First the eggs, then they hatch into lava. The lava goes into a cocoon. From the cocoon, a beautiful butterfly moth emerges. And again, that butterfly moth lays their eggs and it carries on and on now this moth or butterfly that has died is now food for the ants and all the other creepy crawlies so the ants or the creepy crawlies will eat the moths the dead moths or butterflies and then something like a spider might come along and eat the ant or the creepy crawly and then like lizzie the gecko will come along and eat the the spider and so the circle continues and eventually a bird will eat the gecko and it carries on and on and on like that and it's just beautiful the way God's creations work and how the circle of life continues. I think it's just wonderful. Okay kids, that's the end of our tour through the garden and through the house. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and I hope you've learned a lot. Three things I want you to remember from today's lesson. Number one, help your parents in the house and listen to them nicely. Number two, remember things can bite. If they have a mouth, they probably can bite. So keep a safe distance, especially if you don't know what animal or creature or insect you're busy with. 
And then number three, respect God's little creatures. We don't hurt them, we don't kill them. If you don't know what they are, leave them be or ask your parent to remove them for you. Love you all so much.